is Colorado's own Channel 2 News Daybreak. And we're commemorating the Apollo 11 mission 50 years ago. Not everyone today was around then to watch it happen. But there was one man in Centennial with a NASA connection who shares his story and memories with Channel 2's Dan DeRue. Well, this would be their beautiful friendship for stealing apples. 93-year-old Bob Stong is a 10-year resident of Holly Creek Retirement Community, and he loves the music from his earlier years. I don't know. It seems to have a lot more sense to it than a lot of this stuff that the kids are jumping around on now. Glenn Miller, Duke Ellington, the Andrews sisters. It just makes him feel good. It also makes his fellow residents feel good, too. He's the on-air personality here on HCRK, Holly Creek Radio. Butch Myers on drums, so that was Butch Myers' solo. Bob likes looking back, and this week, there's a lot to look back at. Fifty years ago, Bob Stong was traveling the U.S. when man took that historic step. I was a representative for Caterpillar Tractor Company. That's one small step for man. And that was my first thought when he stepped on the moon. I wonder if the man and the moon will ever mean the same. The moon may be small, but so is this world. Stong is a fraternity brother of Buzz Aldrin and went to school with astronaut Gus Grissom. So, did they have the right stuff? Well, they must have to get where they are. Bob Stong has the right stuff, too. A World War II Navy veteran and... Come on, the man loves Glenn Miller. Dan DeRue, Channel 2 News. And NASA is having a special live rebroadcast of the landing on the moon starting at 2 p.m. today. We're going to live stream that on our KWGN app. Well, today a group of seniors at the Holly Creek Retirement Community sat down with each other sharing their reflections on the Apollo 11 mission and watching the first man on the moon take those steps. Our cameras were there as they were remembering when they heard those famous words, that is one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. <coughs> we lived on Cherry Hills and we had quite a bit of ground so we could see a lot. And of course, we, the kids had to go out and try to check and see if they could see anybody up there. But they couldn't. <laughs> we were prepared to watch it, you know, from beginning to end. With the tape recorder. That's right. And I had got out a little cassette tape recorder. I taped Armstrong's descent and his uh, announcement, you know, that he was on the moon. And now, of course, I've lost the tape somewhere. <laughs> Well, oh. other tapes of it do exist, but uh, yeah. I'm going to hazard a guess that you weren't around for that. I was just going to say, as somebody who has learned about <laughs> it, it's really cool to hear through these first-hand experiences of, of people who saw it happen, you know, right in front of them. I've always marveled at the way they were able to televise mm -hmm. it because the, the project itself was demanding enough, but televising yeah. it was very important. And as a young man uh, sitting in a living room on Long Island watching all this play out and waiting and waiting, because after they landed on the moon, it was quite a while before yeah, they yeah, actually stepped to... out. And uh, there was, uh, it seemed like there was drama at every step of the way and wow. success almost every step right. of the way. And uh, there's still fuller stories to yeah. learn about what exactly happened on Apollo 11. And it's been fun to go back and revisit yeah. those over these, uh, these last few days. And tomorrow being the 50th anniversary of the landing itself, tomorrow will be a great day mm -hmm. to be uh, reading and watching and learning yeah, a lot more exactly. about what did happen. Uh, as they say now, you know, you say this, this phone has more computing has power than NASA had yeah, yeah. at their disposal then. Which is something else, but you know what? You still are so fascinated by what happened 50 years ago, and you marvel at what they were able to achieve. And I think even in this day and age, you don't take that for granted. I mean, it, just, it set and opened these doors for what NASA was able to achieve in all those decades afterwards as well. There are a lot of people with slide rules, protract, protractors, mm -hmm. and yeah. imagination yeah. who made it happen. And it wasn't necessarily was pounding on a keyboard like we do now, but yeah. uh, an amazing, amazing event. Yeah, Great it really was. Back.